Can you? What evidence do you have for your claim? Ah, I see. And I see that you are a gentleman. Neat, Mr. Schmidt. But the killer, he is still at large. He is just waiting for the moment to murder one of us. We will not wait until he shows his ugly face. You have a point. Maybe you can achieve more than we can. Feel free to ask around more. I think a thank you is in order. I wrongly suspected Schwarz and you saved me from making a terrible mistake. We are all workers. In so far as we only have the will to make ourselves useful in some way to mankind. That's what La Salle says. And you? You seem to be one of us. You should question all those who were involved in the dispute. One of them must have done it. I don't believe that the priest gets his hands dirty himself. Then it could only have been Alois. He has such a short fuse anyway. Totally jaded. He's capable of something like that. Question him. Ask him if he has an alibi. And don't let Ursula keep you away from him. You'll see right away that he has what it takes to be a murderer. The Pfistner farm is located in the south of the village.
don't understand what you want from me. Are you asking if I've slain Lenz? Who sent you? Leubel the Bettwetter? He's the only one here in town who thinks he's smart enough and at the same time stupid enough to accuse me of such nonsense. He'd better put his books aside and come out onto the field. Then he'll be able to clear his head of his intellectual delusions or whatever it's called. You know what really gets on my nerves? Men in fine clothes who want to interfere in the lives of the villagers. I get through the day quite well on my own. I don't need the talk of upheaval. And the Lord said, if you don't feed the donkey, it will run a few more steps and then it will die. That is not in the book, but perhaps it should be written there that the pompous donkey would also consider on whose shoulder he is laying his fine table. to let you tell me when to answer something. First, tell me what you want to know. Passed away, how you say that. He died a miserable death with his head in the dirt like a mangy dog. Just as I say. I went straight home from the pub and packed the crates for the market with Ursula. Like every evening. The farmer has to get up early in the morning so everything has to be ready in the evening. The crates with the stuff for the market. Groceries, that is. The crates with the stupid questions have already gone. Or maybe you saw them somewhere, Mr. Investigator. If you're looking for witnesses for your stupid reports, then ask Ursel. She's in the field. Or Friedel, our farmhand. He's at the market. Oh, and Mr. Townsman. Tell me how your investigation turned out. I already hear it from all directions. A farmer in Wolpertshofen did his job, and you figured it out. Respect, Mr. City Dweller. There sure will be a promotion in for you, right? And I'll get lost? The little rascal will realize that he doesn't have to sneak around there. Let us worry about that. Is there anything else? What do you want from Alois? Yes, of course he did. Alois has to fulfill his duties. Herr Schmidt, and could you tell me something now? What are you doing, sneaking around my farm? Are you looking for something? Well, then look somewhere else. Is there anything else?
will work while you write your reports. that passes, but yes, have you found my snack? Then give it to me. I can feel my ribs already. to teach you a lesson with the fiery pin rifle, which you would immediately forget. Do you understand what I mean? If I ever leave this shit, I'll see you alive. By God, the snake doesn't fit through the peephole. This is getting more and more humiliating. What are we going to do? Very well. My honor lies at the bottom of this shitty place anyway. I will now open the door. And then, give me what I desire. If you don't help me, then I will come out and get my snack. I'm counting down. Then we are off. Three. Two. One. Come on. Were you not there at our last meetings? You should know how I feel, shitty, from head to toe. I ask myself the same thing. 
Now take the tool and open the shit hole. So quiet! Commander Logerman at your service! What are the orders? A butterfly? What are you talking about? Give me your name! Schmidt, have you been poisoned? Did you overdose on toadstools? Yeah, that's right! You don't think! So open the door! can I help today? Look, this is not a good time at all. The goods have to come off the stand and I have to make another delivery. I'm sorry, but it's really not possible. I understand your urgency, but apparently you don't understand mine. so that we both come out of this well. I take care of the goods here at the stand and you quickly make the delivery. Then I will have my head free afterwards and time for your questions. Because the delivery would be really important now. Very important, so to speak. These 10 eggs have to go to one of the lumberjacks in the forest near Pfistner Farm. 
They need a good meal for their hard work. They passed by here fully loaded so they didn't have a hand free. Apparently they have even lost some of the wood. The best would be to look for the wood that is lying around everywhere. Ah, and here's something else for you before I forget. This pretzel will give you more strength for your journey. Eat it before you start. It's an old family receipt from my wife. Here you go. And make sure you don't break any eggs on the way. If even one shell is cracked, the old lady will come with a stick. An unpleasant person. Yes, really? I'm not sure yet. But now you better hurry. The delivery is late anyway. Here the eggs. Good luck. Finally, my stomach is growling already. Thank you. How can I help today? By God, that's very good. For you, that might only be 10 eggs, but for me, they truly mean the difference on the farm. All right, I'll stick to my agreements too. Don't worry, now we finally come to your questions. What do you want to know? As it happens, I can, yes. Alois always has to be home early. His wife, Ursula, would never allow the market goods not to be ready in time. Once Alois was at the cemetery, tending the family grave and came home when Ursula already had the crates in the hallway. That was big trouble, I tell you. The way Alois' mood has been for the last few years, I won't even be surprised if he would just beat up someone to death like that. But in the end, there's always Ursula. She already has a firm grip on the fate of the farm. And with that, Alois as well. Yeah, I can say with a clear conscience that Alois was at home. Was they did now? Yes, Valentin, you're right. I have to get something off my chest. No, not now. I suggest you get back to me when you have clarified Alois' concerns.
Of course they were! This is all a load of bollocks! And now, you go back to where you came from, like a good boy, and give a nice greeting from the working people. Will you never stop being a pain in the ass? Oh, yeah, I know that one. Isn't that the button from... Mr. Don't Bust My Balls Any Longer! You know everything you want to know about me, so leave me alone now! I have no idea where that damn button came from! Have a nice day! Is there anything else? can I help today? I am not quite sure now whether I should really tell you everything. This place carries a burden that not all shoulders are meant to bear. There's something over Pfistner Farm, a shadow. Everything there seems cursed. What would you like to know? The farm comes from Alois family. Alois looks after the farm with his wife Ursula. Ursula comes from the Schormeyer farm. After a dispute there, she came through the door with bag and baggage and never left again. And then, there is their son, Alois Junior. But Alois Junior is not the son of Alois and Ursula. So he is Alois, but Ursula is not the mother. Before Ursula, Alois was married to another woman who died. Alois has never been able to overcome his grief. And you can also tell that the boy is somehow different. You have probably already seen the boy here in town. He often sneaks around secretly here. Yesterday he was picking mushrooms. Today he's at the river. He's a busy lout. But his heart is in the right place. I feel so sorry for him. Well, and then there's me. Too broken for the war, too stupid for the city, but it seems to be enough for the farm stand. I have been at the farm for 51 years and still know Alois old man, Walter. What would you like to know? I'm not talking about the devil, if you know what I mean. This house just feels dark and cold. More and more often there are nasty arguments, usually Ursula yells at Alois. You can choose which Alois I mean, but father and son also clash more often. I don't get to hear everything in the servants quarters either, but now and then I hear or watch what they have to dispute. Ursula is always afraid of losing the farm, then she yells at Alois that he is not man enough to run the farm properly, she leads him like a hand puppet. And Ursula doesn't have a single good word for the boy. Once, when things were really bad again, Ursula told Alois Junior that she would be happier if he had gone with his mother. I will tell you something, I will never forget the boy's crying. As if this wasn't enough for the little boy. A year ago, I saw how the father grabbed his son in an argument, pulled him and said, you are like a disease for this family. Hearing such words from your own father and having to put up with Ursula's hatred, cannot bring happiness to any little soul. Fortunately, old Schaumeyer looks after the boy from time to time. They get along quite well. What would you like to know? Sadness, Mr. Townsman. Well, it's right in front of your eyes. The farm and the land must be cultivated. Then the farmer loses his wife and is left alone with all the tasks. 
this has obviously overwhelmed him. Alois Jr. is also still there and carries a big bag with him, containing pictures of seeing his own mother die. The great loss at this early stage of life was a heavy blow for the family, from which they never recovered. And then Ursula joins the family. Like Alois Jr., she lost her mother years ago too. As the last woman in her family, her status on the farm was determined by struggle. And now, under these difficult conditions, Ursula also loses her brother Lenz. Do you understand why this situation depresses me at times? What would you like to know? I promised myself relief. Only death will truly redeem me here. Look, I'm a poor farmhand. My greatest possession is my will and the strength of my arms. But the arms are getting weaker and weaker. I'm fully aware that my past will end up on a field in Wolpertshofen. It will make the difference whether I thank the Lord for the beautiful day in my last breath or everything remains as it is right now. What would you like to know? Please, promise me something. Talk to the people. Listen to them and convince them that this cannot go on. I believe they are listening to you. And above all, talk to the boy first. I'm afraid that he will break under everything at some point. He simply needs someone to listen to him. How do you know my name? What else did Friedel tell you? I, I felt like a stone then. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, time suddenly stops running. Then father came back. He sent me away and, and called Friedel. I remember that. Since then, everything has changed. What else did Friedel tell you? Mother once made a book for my father. She used to write letters in it. Father always had it under his bed. And then Ursa took the book and a shovel and disappeared into the garden. I saw it clearly, but the witch couldn't see me because I was sitting in the tree. Actually, I wanted to dig the book out again myself, but it wasn't quick enough. The father noticed that it was gone. You can probably imagine what happened then. If you bring the book to my father, I'm sure he would be reassured and happy. If he's still able to feel anything at all.
What do you want? Are you damaged? Who do you think you are to meddle in our affairs? So I'm curious to hear what you have to say about my farm. You think you have the right to stand in this place on my land? Mouth off like that on my doorstep and lecture me? If you keep repeating the baseless nonsense of those licked intellectuals, I'll grab my shotgun and I'll shoot you up the church tower, you cheeky dork. I promise you that! I don't think you know anything! Otherwise, you wouldn't know that your mouth is putting you in a very dangerous situation! How do you know that? Can you read? Have you been to the cemetery? You must be a clever one! He had to watch? He killed her! Because he's too stupid for everything! Now I'll tell you something! When my beloved Katarina miserably suffocated, the little rascal just stood there. He could have helped her! He could have saved her life! Outside, at first, it sounded like they were just fooling around in the kitchen. As if they were having fun. But when it rattled inside, I realized that something went wrong. None of this would have ever happened if the two of them hadn't played their stupid mushroom catch again. How many times have I told them to stop that? That you don't do that. But it took his mother lying on the floor with blue lips for the little devil to understand. By then it was too late. Why didn't he do anything? Why did he just stand there? Can you explain that to me? understand it what do you mean <laughs> Ursula is not my wife she's a woman on my farm my wife is with the Lord and never comes back do you think I chose it that way all of a sudden I was standing there all alone with the farm and the boy I needed help, and Ursula wanted to leave the Schormeyer farm. She was supposed to get married. That was obvious. Someone had to look after the boy and prepare things for the market. I had to deal with the fields and this darkness. Ursula was able to take a lot of the load off. And then she interfered more and more. She wanted to tell me how everything should be done here. The duck bait brat! Then we'll argue! I won't be fooled! I already know that a little brute gets a slap in the face sometimes! What do you expect? Should I call Rup or what? Sometimes he gets hit and he deserves it! So that's just more bullshit you're talking! That's what I'll do! And if you're talking bullshit again, the Lord have mercy on you. You don't spread lies about my farm, Mr. City Dweller. The little devil doesn't need to try to talk his way out of it. I already know that he did it. 
What does he think supposed to be? Give me that. Where did you get that? If that's true, the bloody twat will face the consequences. I'm telling you. What does he think supposed to be? He can keep that. It won't bring Katarina back to me either. What does he think supposed to be? You have no idea. This is so heavy. This burden. The whole family is broken. Only the Lord knows if there's salvation for us. Is there anything else? Thank <laughs> you. 